Today we have a poster and a poster discussion uh, of our Abby Race study. So abiraterone is a androgen synthesis inhibitor. This drug actually improves survival in men with metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer, yet it's largely been studied in Caucasian men. The underrepresentation of African American men in clinical trials has been a major issue for all drugs. And so we intentionally developed a clinical trial that enrolled 50 Caucasian men, 50 African American men, treated them with the standard of care abiraterone. Uh, and this was intentionally to create an enriched population uh, of uh, patients with this um, uh, unmet need uh, that are underrepresented in clinical trials. African American men by self-report were enrolled 50% to this trial which is unprecedented. And we actually found that African American men did better with this agent. They had differing toxicities than Caucasian men, slightly more hypertension and renal insufficiency, uh, but they actually had a better chance of getting a response in terms of PSA uh, and had a delayed uh, time to PSA progression. And so that was encouraging and really emphasizes the need to uh, conduct clinical trials in underserved and disproportionately affected individuals. Uh, going forward, we're going to learn from genotyping the specific differences that in the biology of these tumors that may underlie this response. The, the real challenges of enrolling African American patients in trials is going to where African Americans are receiving care. And so we opened this study across uh, multiple centers that have a large proportion, like Durham, North Carolina, 25% of our patients are African American. So we felt it was imperative to open this kind of study to represent our patients. We also opened this study in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, we have uh, really investigated some of these barriers, such as just physicians approaching patients with those conditions and, and those um, racial identities, uh, reducing the exclusionary barriers to clinical trials that may disproportionately affect African Americans, such as renal function or hypertension, some comorbidities. So I think engaging the community, asking the community, particularly what interests them, what are things are important to them, really helps uh, with clinical trial enrollment and particularly going to where patients are.